Hi there, in this video I'm going to be talking about the last of the Gauss-Markov assumptions which is that of no perfect collinearity. So what does this mean? Well it's probably best illustrated by means of an example. So an example might be, let's say I'm interested in finding out what are the determinants of a given house price. So it probably depends on the size of that house, which we could sort of measure by the number of square feet in that house. So let's say we included the sort of square footage of that house in our regression. But let's say that as well as including the square footage of that house in our regression, we also included the square meterage of that house. Well, I hope you can see that it's going to be a problem for our regression to disentangle the effect of square meterage from square footage because there are basically different measures of the same thing. So there is an exact relationship between our aggressors, which is something like the square footage of a given house i is roughly equal to some number, or no, it's exactly equal rather to some number, which is around nine times the square meterage of that house. And notice here that the parameters beta 1 and beta 2 aren't going to be identified. But that's not a result of problems with our data. What it is here is it's a problem in the way in which we have estimated our relationship. So no matter how much data we have on square footage and square meterage, we're still never going to be able to disentangle one's effect from the other because of this exact relationship between the two. If I know the square meterage of a house, I automatically know the square footage of that house. So here, if you try and estimate this equation in eViews, or if you estimate it in Stata, it will, you'll, you'll get shown some sort of error message which will say, in its current form, this model is not estimatable. So let's think about another example where this could sort of, um, this issue of perfect collinearity might come up. So let's say you were interested in estimating uh, how consumption depends on someone's non-labour income um, plus, uh, or plus the level of salary which an individual I has. Um, but also you included in your regression their sort of total income of an individual. So what's the problem here? Well the problem here is that there is some sort of exact relationship between the non-labour income of an individual, their salary, and the total level of income which an individual has. So, or in specific, the total level of income which an individual has is equal to the sum of their non-labour income plus their salary. So there is some sort of exact relationship between their total level of income, their non-labour income and their salary. If I know an individual's salary and their non-labour income, I also know that individual's total level of income. So again, if you try and estimate this problem um, in some sort of statistical programme, the parameters beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3 aren't going to be identified. So you will get some sort of error message because of this issue of perfect collinearity between regressors, which Another way of stating perfect collinearity means that there is some exact relationship between the regressors.